A 14 year old young man steals the show with a powerful performance in front of the Pope. And what makes it more amazing is that the performance was not planned and he sang by himself. We are thrilled to claim Bobby Hill as our own because he has roots right here in the Low Country. It's how you expect angels to sound. Sweetly powerful, filling every quarter. But this spontaneous serenade to the Holy Father came from a 14 year old, Bobby Hill. He had no warning about this papal performance. Were you scared at all? I was a little nervous, but I would say I was more excited. You were supposed to be singing with your normal group, the Keystone State Boy Choir, but suddenly you find out you are going to be singing solo. Well, the producers of the World Meeting of Families uh, needed to uh, cover a 60 second gap in a set change from The Fray and Aretha Franklin. And they asked my choir director if he had any ideas or anybody, and he said that I could sing. And boy, did he. He lives in the Philadelphia area, but Bobby proudly talked about the tie that binds him to the low country. We feel like you're ours, even though you live in the Philadelphia area. We feel like you're our child. Yes. My grandfather is Robert Manigault, and um, he he's my late grandfather, Robert Manigault, and he owned a Shell gas station at the base of a mall in Mount Pleasant, and he owned a store on Highway 17 in Owendale. <laughs> you definitely have salt water sure. running through your veins. Bobby, where did you find this voice? Has it been years and years <laughs> of voice training? I started with my church choir when I was about three and a half, and then I joined the Keystone State Boy Choir, which is a boy choir based in Philadelphia that draws young people from all over our city from all backgrounds. No stranger to singing opera, Bobby has performed in places such as Italy and even Antarctica. In 2009, our choir, um, which was the only choir to do so, went to Antarctica and we brought back a rock that we were waiting to give to someone special. And we ended up singing for the Pope, so I gave him that rock and he in return gave our choir a rosary. His performance was to the pleasure of the world. And in an amazing fortune of fate, an opera legend was also there to hear it. I met Andrea Bocelli and I got to sing for him and he complimented me. He was like, bravo, bravo, bellissimo. Angels may not always seem to come when you call, but when Bobby Hill was tapped on the shoulder Saturday night, he released an angelic sound and the world was listening. Feel as if we are all walking up on the yeah, stage nice, right up it? there with him. <laughs> so proud of him sure. and none prouder in our News 2 family right. than morning anchor Octavia <laughs> Mitchell. You see, Octavia is actually Bobby's yeah, cousin right. and she hasn't stopped smiling, I no. think, since Saturday. Yeah, we're not sure what's next for him, but we're sure <laughs> listening out for him. And I don't know if it was great that he only had five minutes to prepare so he didn't have to think about right. it. He's got to get up there and sing and didn't have a chance to get nervous because I happened so quickly. I know, but you know, being parents, we could all recognize oh, and yeah. anyone watching him amazingly composed to be sure 14 was. years old. He is already a showstopper. So proud of him and I'm sure the entire family is uh, as well. Able to shake that man's hand.